Sinestruck. All right, everybody, we're switching games once again. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, Let's Play. I am once again about halfway through a bottle of this time we're going back to Telemore 2 and we're going to play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Because, well, for one thing, uh, uploading uh, uh, Super Mario World stuff tends to piss off Nintendo. Uh, we don't care about any of the story because the story doesn't really make sense. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go with, uh, yeah, the, the open thing. And, uh, yeah, Nintendo doesn't like when you upload anything to do with Mario. At least it doesn't like it when I do it. But Zelda, it seems to be, uh, seems to be okay. So let's get started here. With Young Link, uh, appar apparently this takes place a hundred years before the original Legend of Zelda game. So, uh... This isn't, uh, I, I, I don't follow the story here. One thing I, the only thing I understand is that Hyrule was having sort, some sort of problem with, uh, like, earthquakes and storms and, like, all this bad shit happening. And then the wizard Agonemonem, 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 uh, decided to, uh, you know, it, he volunteered his services to make all this stuff stop. And, of course, it turns out he was the guy causing the problems in the first place. So he got into the king's favor, and stuff escalated from there, and his real plan was to summon Ganon so he can come back to the light world and, uh... Eh, go fuck yourself. Um, so he can come back to the light world. What I don't get are a lot of the motivations involved here. Like, why does the uncle feel compelled to go help Zelda, and why, uh, like, are these the same Link and Zelda from The Legend of Zelda? Like, and then there's this, like, uh, he's, he's apparently, like, wounded or something. Yes, yes, yes. So Zelda is your what? My sister? And he, is he dead? Is, shouldn't I, like, carry his body back and get him out of here? Am I gonna leave his corpse in a castle basement? Are you kidding me? That, that doesn't seem sanitary, or ethical, or anything. But yeah, this is, uh, I was never all that into Legend of Zelda back in the day, to be honest with you. I, for one thing, as many of you know, I did not have an NES. I uh, grew up with a Super Nintendo. The first console I had was an Atari 2600 that belonged to my older sister. Uh, uh, and we jump. We, we made the jump from there to, uh to a Super Nintendo. I did not own this game as a kid. I bought this game on eBay complete in the box. I, I, had, I actually Googled. I keep all my eBay confirmation receipt purchases, whatever you want to call them. Um, I bought it for $21 complete in the box on an auction back in 2005. So I've owned this for 12 years. Um... I guess I got pretty lucky. I actually paid almost as much several years later for the guidebook. And um, if you like Zelda and you don't have the guidebook for A Link to the Past, you are missing out. It's 168 pages and there's no ads. It's not like a Nintendo Power kind of a thing. God, I am being doing terrible here. I am not being patient and I'm being very... Oh yeah, that's right. This this beginning part is super forgiving. You don't need to. It doesn't matter if you get hit. You just keep going, and there's gonna be hearts somewhere. But um, no, it's 106, 68 pages, and there's no ads at all. It's just solid sub substance. It's just all like it tries to explain like <laughs> how the games connect. I love this knocking him off. That was so cool. Um, you can do the same thing with this guy, maybe, yeah, sweet. Um, there we go. Oh, no hearts here. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've played, I may not have really grown up, oh, that was pathetic. <laughs> I should probably, uh, I should probably eat some breadsticks or something and settle down. <laughs> that was really bad. Um... No, it's, it's 168 pages, no advertisements. You know how you, you 
look through an old Nintendo Power, like half the charm is like looking through the ads, like the, the crazy amount of uh, advertisements for games, for other stuff, for like Stridex pads and stuff like that. <laughs> um, isn't it kind of cowardly to just go from behind, go, sneak up from behind? All right, I got lost in what I was saying. Do I want to go this way? Where do I go again? I can't remember. What's over here? Did I just come from this way? I think, yeah, I just came from this way. I am so... You're gonna have to bear with me because I'm pretty drunk and rambly. And I just came from up there. This goes to the same screen, right? Okay, this goes... I See, the, I don't know this game secondhand like many of you out there do, so you're probably laughing your ass off like this dude does not know what he's doing. I lost track of what I was doing because I have the guidebook in front of me, and I keep... Uh, what is this here for, anyway? Is this when you get out of here? Yeah, and you jump down there. Okay. I, I literally have not touched this game in about two, three years. Haven't even thought about it until, like, I want to do another first party Nintendo game for an LP and I don't want it to be Mario so I, let's do Link to the Past anyway yeah I paid just as much for the guidebook as I did for um, uh, the game complete in the box this is something like 20 bucks and it's so worth it because it's it's all like lots of little touches you know Nintendo did such a good job with the guidebooks back then because they were so they added so much to the game now I have two items. I have the lantern and the boomerang, and the boomerang is like overpowered as fuck at this part of the game, because you get to freeze people in their uh, right in their tracks, and then you take them out with the sword. Like as if this wasn't forgiving enough with all the hearts and stuff. I guess you know they want you to get off on the, you know, start off on the right foot. But uh, yeah, freeze them, go like that, take them out. I think this works on this guy too, yep, but, whoa, that was too close, whoops. Oh, lovely, now I get to deal with this absolutely lovely beeping sound while I take this guy out. Shit, that does not last long, does it? Fuck it, just keep hitting him with the sword. It'll work eventually, right? <laughs> Shit. Ba -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, big key, and what's up, Zelda? The wizard is controlling the soldiers at the castle. Yeah, so he's finally, like... <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Alright. These should hopefully be hearts, so I can make this beeping stop. Whoops, sorry about that. There was a disturbance over here and the dogs were going insane. I forgot I left them outside. It's a nice day here in Albuquerque. <clears throat> it's an, always a nice day in Albuquerque. It's like one of the nice things about living here. As, as a person that comes from St. Paul, Minnesota, it's <laughs> living in Albuquerque, like weather's like not a thing. The only weather we get here is like wind. Like it'll be windy, but it's blue sky, sunshine. It rains like once a month. And when it does rain, it's really pleasant. Like, it's it's needed, it's refreshing. As opposed to Minnesota, where it, when it's February, as, as my friend once described, you want to slice your hand open just so you can see some goddamn color. And that's, that's what Minnesota winters will do to you. Especially once you come around to February, holy shit. It's like, it, <laughs> you've already endured three months at at least three months of winter at that point so look at this idiot you didn't see me are you kidding me how did you become a soldier or a knight i guess it wasn't for your peripheral vision i guess i don't administer freaking vision tests look at that you didn't see me really oh i better face this wall and look around because that's where he could be hiding that's where any potential enemy could be hiding i just came from this way didn't i no i didn't See, I'm so... <laughs> this is the problem with, with playing these games after you've had several drinks is my sense of direction is so bad and I get lost so easily. But I suppose it's better that I play this than, you know, try and drive somewhere, right? Do not ever drive drunk. P 
please don't ever do that. You'll that's, you'll disappoint everybody. <clears throat> and you don't want to disappoint anybody, do you? Anyway, yeah, here we go. We have made our way through the castle with Zelda behind us. At this point, we want to switch to the lantern because we can't see shit. I don't know how Link is emitting light at this point. Does he have a LED flashlight, like, around his neck or something? But... Uh, that's one thing that I was talking about the guide earlier and it it offers so much like insight to every little thing about this game from the weapons to each enemy to each boss to the background to the story it even tries bless its heart it tries to connect this with uh, the other two Zelda games for NES uh, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and it leaves a, a lot to your imagination and there's a lot of stuff like, you know, this, this, uh, like, how the story of Ganon rose to power remains unknown. Like, there's a lot of that. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, you tried. Actually, you didn't try, but you at least thought to, uh, mention it. So, thank you for that. Anyway... Yeah, there's a lot of original artwork. There's a lot of stuff about Hyrule that's very, you know, if you're into this world, if you're into this game, if you're a Zelda fan, it's well worth I, I don't know how much the guide is going for now. It's probably probably around 40 bucks, but it's almost twice the size of the... Uh, boy, these are some clean sewers besides the rats, but look at that water. You can see through the bottom. Everybody has crystal piss in Hyrule. But yeah, the Earthbound, and uh, I have a lot of guides. I don't have all of them. I wish I did. But uh, the guides for uh, Chrono Trigger and Earthbound are like half the size of the... Um, let's see if I can hit a rat with this. There we go. That's a satisfying sound. Um, yeah, this the book is like more than half the... Not more than, but about half, twice the size of uh, the Chrono Trigger and... And uh, Earthbound guides. I have those. I have the Street Fighter 2 guide, which is surprisingly huge. I'm not sure why. I didn't. I've haven't spent a lot of time looking at that one. I have the Super Mario All Stars guide. Uh, what else do I have? I have the Super NES, like general, like right after the system came out. It gives. I, I did a video on that one, like a long time ago. But um, there's that. There's uh, what else do I have? I have an unofficial, uh, not unofficial, but it's uh, not Nintendo license. It's not a power player's guide, but it's from a different company entirely for Secret of Mana. That one is really cool. The only downside of that one is that it's uh, most of the pages are in black and white. But it does have maps. It has a ton of information on each weapon. Uh, it has hit points for each boss, like that sort of stuff, which is really excellent to have. Um... And it's all that one's also huge. That one's like 200 pages, which is crazy. <laughs> 200 pages on Secret of Mana. But um, what other ones do I have? I'm gonna turn. Oh, and of course there's Super Metroid. That's a that's another guide that's like if you're into Super Metroid, if you like the Metroid universe, if you like that game, that is well worth picking up. That's the wrong one, of course it is. Of course I would not remember which one is the right one. I don't even care, because I can get money and hearts from these guys, so whatever. Let's open the right one. <coughs> but yeah, I was never all that into Zelda, to be honest with you. I did not... Oh, abrupt music change here. Are you drunk? Must not let the blah 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 fall into the evil blah 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 gobbledygook. Oh boy, the Zelda fanboys are gonna have me freaking lynched for saying that. Oh well. Yeah, not at all, but whatever. Is that a piece of heart? Get out of my way, old man. It is more than a piece of heart, it is a heart container. You're going to tell me where to go. Oh yeah, that's right, you marked on the map where I'm supposed to go. So, here we go. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, go go on our big adventure with, with the rollicking music. 
And there's where we're supposed to go, to the left there. That's what makes this game, uh, if you ask me, I like the um, NES linked uh, Legend of Zelda. Um, I think it's a better game than this. I, I know I'm. that's may not be the most popular opinion, but I like the fact in the original Legend of Zelda that you're kind of left to your own devices to kind of stumble around. Whereas here, the map, really the game is structured to tell you what to do and when to do it. It's not until you get to the Dark World where you are you have the freedom to go wherever you want and do things in whatever order that you want. So that uh, becomes kind of a... I don't know. Let's let's see what the uh, let's let's call him the goat say uh, fortune teller. And if you don't know what goat say is, please don't ask. And if you if you if you know why you want to know why it's called the goat say fortune teller, look at the look at the uh, sign up here. Look, it's I mean it's a way to stay classy, okay? And I don't want to deal with the chickens yet. It's as fun as it is to fuck with the chickens. I don't want to do that yet. There's there's a time and a place for that. <laughs> Let's be mature. <laughs> What's up, Grandma? How you doing? The Elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the Wizard of the Master Sword. Well, I don't know. Legends of swords, of things within the things, of evil hearts and sleeping in the forest. No, I don't, but wh whatever. So you don't know where he is? Well, this is marked on the map, lady. What's in here? Is this the gangster's hideaway? Gangster's paradise, whatever it's called? Sweet. I'm more interested in this. Screw, screw the high roll. Let's go down here. Let's let's try and <laughs> let's put my puzzle skills puzzles yeah puzzle solving skills to the test and royally fuck this up. Okay, so what are we doing? Let's uh, start with this. Let's get this. Oh shit, that's right. You can't open these from the side. <laughs> God damn it! I'm only gonna get two of these, aren't I? Son of a bitch! Here I am thinking this is like Lufia too. Ah, I'm a dumbass, and it's stuck that way the rest of the game, isn't it? There is. I hope you get your entertainment value just from this alone, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you want some idiot to play this game drunk? Here you go. That's the result. Jesus, I can't. I here I am thinking like, oh, I'll, I'll get to the side and open it that way. I forgot I was playing Zelda for a second. Son of a bitch. Well, after that embarrassment, let's see how else I can embarrass myself here in Kakariko Village. Why is that still... Am I supposed to... I forget what I'm supposed to do. It's... Ugh. Once I get... Uh, I remember the, the dungeons. I don't have... I'm one rupee short of a bottle. That is ridiculous. Once I get to the dungeons... Um, I, I have a clear idea of what to do. I know exactly where to go and all that sort of stuff, but... Oh, I disappointed the sick kid. Gah. And now I really feel like shit, as if there's not enough people laughing at me. The sick kid thinks I'm a jerk. What do you think, Ulysses? You think I'm a jerk? No, oh, you said yeah. Dog wandered in here. Hey, there's a bottle in here. I totally forgot about that. Hey, there's a chicken. Fuck you, chicken. Aw, now I can't get him. Right, Yuli. I call him Yuli, short for Ulysses. He is a Malamute mix, and he is very sleepy and tired. Here, here's your bottle, kid. Well, why do you need a bottle to give me your bug catching net? Anyway. Hey, wait, come back! Not a Jehovah Witness. What are you doing? Ah, uh, chickens. Again. A time. Is this the time and place? Do I want to get destroyed? And 
<laughs> I love when you open up the, <laughs> the jar, it's another chicken. I'm easily amused. There's two things. You can't go wrong with chickens and monkeys. And this game has both of them, so that's cool. Although the monkey in, uh, in Link's Awakening is much cooler. He's much more helpful. All right, chickens, let's do this. No, don't talk to me. I don't care. Oh, that's who you're supposed to talk to, not the lady. I did not know that. Oh, I knew that, but I just fucking forgot because my memory is shitty. That's right. Okay, this looks really bad. Just slaughtering this fucking poultry. All right, you have to. You literally have to hit him about fifty times. At least fifty times. How many times is this? Oh God! Here we go. Now it becomes like Zelda shoot 'em up. And <laughs> I'm not doing so well. Oh shit. They go away eventually, right? Or is it like this until you go into a house? Oh, they went away. Sweet. Wait, I just... A few words about your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ! Who's this guy again? Is this Bob Ross? He doesn't keep his yard kept. No, it's Mustache Man. There is there, but it is hard to find. The treasure can turn... That's not an interesting story. I want my money back. Oh, speaking of money, I can get that bottle from that dude. Since I have exactly 100 rupees. Oh, fuck you, you fucking narc. Here, I want you to come out here and watch me kill the guy you summoned. Slice his throat. That's what narcs get. Here, let's get this. And then we'll be on our way. Oh, let's take it. Take all of my money. For a magic bottle. Not just a bottle, a magic bottle. Uh-huh. Oh, God. I forgot how tedious the beginning of this game is because you can't dash. I like being able to dash everywhere. It sucks not being able to dash. This is the right way to go, right? Okay. Those chickens did a number on me, man. I need hearts. Is there a mod out there? Is a ROM hack out there that turns every knight in this game into a chicken? Nope. Oh, nothing to do in there. Yuli, you back away. You get away from here. No, buddy. dog is sucking up to me. I think he's annoyed because I'm talking, and I'm not talking to any person in particular, so he might think there's something wrong with me. That is our destination, the Eastern Palace. Way over there. So, let's get a move on. Ugh. Yeah, I've had uh, a rough week, and I haven't been feeling very well. So what better way to cope with that than to drink a lot and play some Zelda? Now, I wanted to stick with a uh, first-party Nintendo game because, I don't know, it's, that's, the, the, the popular games are easy to LP. I mean, it's, I was thinking about, like, well, what games do I really feel like playing? And I feel like playing Top Gear, but it's like, how exciting is it to watch somebody play a racing game? Like, yup, there's their car, there's the race. Like, that is, would be the most boring thing imaginable. At least Top Gear's got that kick-ass soundtrack, though, so that it would be a nice bonus. You at least get to rock, rock out to the music. But, uh, no, that's a terrible choice to LP that game. God, I just want to keep going, and you keep freaking... Now I have to deal with the damn beeping again. Get away from me. There we go. Oh, thanks for not leaving a heart. Okay, should I take this guy on? No, we got arrow dudes. I'm going to die. This is going to be humiliating and I'm going to die. Oh yeah, paid off. Let's get this guy too. I have to go this way anyway, don't I? Ugh, I'm an idiot. Hey, you're not allowed to make fun of me if you're out there laughing at me, judging like my dog is right now. I mean, I'm just as 
I'm just as adept with awareness as these guys are. They shoot an arrow and then they look like they're crossing the street. Where did he go? Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Oh, I think the fairy's in here, isn't she? Right the fuck on. Alrighty. Well, at least that takes care of that. Let's keep going up to the Eastern Palace. But yeah, Nintendo does not like it when you upload anything to do with Mario. They don't really give a shit if it's Zelda. <laughs> well, maybe they do. I'm probably uh, jinxing myself. God, these guys do an entire heart of damage. I think maybe I should avoid them. And I think Sazabazabazaba is down here. What's the right way to pronounce his name? Sarhisala? Sahasarilla? Sasparilla? Sassafras? Okay, yeah or of course. Yeah. Is there a difference? Is there a, is there a no option that can be unlocked? Anyway, I don't have any bombs yet. Should I have bombs at this point? Really? You're just going to say the same damn thing? What happens if I say of course? Because that would be... That's my response to shit like that is... Of course I do. Not yeah. And there we have it. That's where we need to go. And to get to this particular shindig... It's just right up here. These guys take exactly four hits. If I remember correctly, yes they do. And they are very generous with arrows. However, we do not have a bow yet. Hint, hint. What could be the item we get next? I wonder. Let's go down here. That is a dead end. And we're still going to have to fight this guy. Uh, let's, yeah, sure, why not? I don't think the boomerang works on those things either. Let's just hack and slash this dude to death. For some reason, I, Link already comes equipped with the ability to carry 20 arrows. Which I always thought was kind of interesting. Like, well, if he can carry arrows, why doesn't he already have the bow? Oh, 25. I think it's 30, actually, that he can carry at the beginning. And yeah, see, once I get in here, I'm reasonably sure of where to go at this point. So let's just keep this uh, LP going through this uh, castle, and then I'll call it quits after that. Oh, no, I wasn't wasn't smart enough to know that was coming. I think this is, uh, yeah, you have to hit the switch, and then you hit this switch up here. But yeah, I did not own this game as a kid. Uh, my best friend that lived down the road from me, Dan, uh, was the one that owned this. I think he got it uh, shortly after it came out. Um, and he was always a big Zelda guy. He had the, uh, he was the kid in my neighborhood that had the NES. And he had, um, this game. He had Zelda 2 as well. He also, uh, interestingly enough, he had the Zelda board game. I don't know if he still has it. I haven't talked. I, we fell out of touch after, uh, our family moved. And, but, uh, I wonder what that goes for nowadays, if it's in good condition. Because that was kind of cool like it had I don't ever remember playing it but I remember coming one of the first times I went to his house um, he was like let's play this and I'm like why would we play this when we can play the video game and he was like I'm sick of the video game <laughs> it's like all right fair enough and we tried it out and it was I remember it being fun I don't remember any particulars about the uh, game itself the board game itself but it was pretty fun you're not gonna give me another heart come on Anyway, yeah, I was never, to be honest, I was never really crazy into Zelda. Um, is there anything down here? Anything at all? Is there any sort of point to this other than to show off the layering technique there? No, I guess not. It's a show-off-y thing that doesn't really have any function. Anyway. It's funny to me, now that I've been doing this channel for however many years, since I started in the fall of 2013 after I got laid off from my job, and I was like, well, I was in between jobs, and it's like, I need to come up with something to do or I'm going to go insane. So I was always kind of like, had, you know, an interest in like, doing a channel like this where it's, 
it's uh I just wanted uh, more... Uh, is this the... What happens here? Is this where the skeletons come alive? Yes, it is. Oh, wow, lucky shot there. No, I just wanted uh, uh, to make... You know, uh, there, I don't, there were too many channels out there that were like Game Grumps, that were just like comedy, whatever uh, stuff. And it's just like, I wish there was more stuff that was just like, hey, here's what this game is. Here's how you play it. Here's what you do. Is it any good? Well, it's decent. Or, you know, well, it's good. Well, it sucks. I just, you know, kind of almost like a Siskel and Ebert. I remember watching Siskel and Ebert as a kid all the time. Not to compare myself to F Siskel or Ebert. I mean, Jesus, no. But um, those guys are real critics and writers. I'm just some guy. But he, uh, they, uh, oh, I don't have the key yet. I can't get to this. But, um, no, I, I wanted something like that, but for video games, like, just a very simple, like, three-minute thing. Because that's what they would do on their show. They'd go, is this movie any good? Thumbs up, thumbs down. And they would give their reasons, and it would only take a few minutes for each movie. They'd cover, like, four or five movies each half-hour show. Hey, I have bombs now. When did I get bombs? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got bombs at, the, at Sassafarilla's hideout. Oh, God. Wasn't I supposed to get a key? Oh, that opened that. Okay. The key is in here, presumably. Um, no, I just... It, and so I thought I'd start this video. And since I started this video, I... Back then, uh, I started... Uh, that's when I... It's like, well, if I want to... If I want to do this, I'm going to have to be honest with each of these games. I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to just be like... Like, nobody ever lost any money doing nothing but positive reviews. Like, if I just, like, go on here and just go, Oh, it's the best because it's the best, and blah, blah, blah. There's enough of that out there. If, you, if that's what you're looking for, go someplace else. But it's, it's just funny to me how, you know, I said certain stuff about certain games. Like, for example, Secret of Evermore. Let's uh, get this. Like, Secret of Evermore, like, Final Fantasy VI, I did some criticism on that, even though I repeatedly called it a top 10 Super Nintendo game. It's not enough for many people. Nope, it's still... You're not... That's not good enough. Blah, blah, blah. And yet, I, I still... I criticized this game, too, Link to the Past. Nobody really gave a shit. I'm just like, okay, we... Okay. It just didn't get a response. Whereas Final Fantasy VI, people are still go ape shit to this day. I posted that video in like November of 2013. I think, isn't the bow and arrow the only thing that kills this thing? No? Okay. I'm used to using arrows on these guys. Or at least that's what I remember using. I guess like six sword strikes? But yeah, people, I still, like every fucking day, I get a comment on that video like, well, actually, it's like, shut the fuck up already. And it's like, well, I guess I should have figured that would be. All right, there we go. Now we've got the big key. Now we can go get the uh, the uh, bow and arrow, and we can take on the boss, I would think, from there. So another thing, another reason why I'm doing this game instead of... Uh, what was I rambling about? I was rambling about Final Fantasy VI for some reason. I don't know what the hell I was talking about that for, but... Oh, uh, because I criticized this game, too, and nobody seems to care. So, oh well. Um, I guess I should consider that a good thing. But, uh, uh oh. Is this where I'm gonna die? I know I'm gonna die eventually here. And it's gonna be really humiliating. But, um, no, it's, uh... Oh, I forgot I was... I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, yeah, I guess uh, the point is, is that I always liked <laughs> the point. I always liked uh, Link's Link's Awakening is the game is the Zelda game that stands out to me as something really cool. Yeah, that's right. You can fall down one of these. I think it's the left one. Yes. Okay. Now I can fill up my magic bottles. Keep it in a bottle. Oh, I accidentally absorbed that one. Let's go down here. I probably go to the same place, right? Yep. And let's catch another one. Right on. You can stay there by yourself, fairy. Sorry. 
I'm gonna kidnap your partner and leave you there by yourself. Oh well. All right, let's use the bow and arrow. Um. Yeah, Link's Awakening, I think, is... It's a weird game, first of all, from a story standpoint and from just, like, a lore from a... Uh, oh, yeah, they, can, they you can one-shot those guys. That's pretty sweet. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's a key over there. But I guess the game is telling me to go this way first, so whatever. <clears throat> the game just has a goofy vibe to it, uh, Link's Awakening. Oh, this is just money. Whatever. Um, another shoot 'em up, uh, top down shoot 'em up. Uh, see if I can avoid getting hit here. See, I can do that while super drunk. Not, I'm not super drunk. I'm pretty damn buzzed though. But obviously, since I'm rambling about 27 different things at once, but I can do that without getting hit. I can play the chicken game and survive, but I can't fucking find my way out of the Hyrule Castle at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Get your shit together, Snestronk. Wow, it actually closes if you hit the switch again? I didn't know that. Alright. Oh, bullshit. I hit him. While he was conscious. Conscience? Con conscious. Um. Yeah, I prefer Link's Awakening. I like that, uh game. I love the structure of the game. I know that uh, people see linearity as a, as a bad thing. Like, oh, I want to be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want. It's like, you know what? Sometimes linearity can be a good thing in a game like this, if it's done well. And it was done well in Link's Awakening, in my opinion. So, this game is a little... I think it's it's done well, but it's too it's a little too linear. The thing I like about this game the best is the sound design, the music, the look. The same thing. It's the, got the same sort of thing as Secret of Mana, in my opinion. It's on that same kind of level as. Uh, um, that's the big appeal of Secret of Mana. The, the problem is that I think it has aged better than Secret of Mana because uh, Secret of Mana has that backwards magic system that pauses the game and the way you you uh, um, the way you get uh, level up your magic okay here we go boss fight super serious music oh my god all right here we go you just pound the shit out of these guys with arrows basically and you have 24 of them now 23 of them 22 so you just try not to get hit as egregiously as I have been getting hit so far and then they conveniently line up like, hey, come hit us. And their shields don't work at all. I think you can hit these guys with your swinging sword technique. But it takes too long. And you risk yourself getting hit. And once we get down to just one, we get this guy trying to spike me. Sit on me like a big fat ass. Oop. Let's see if I can pull this off. Anyway, I was rambling about Secret of Mana, but uh, yeah. Let's see if I can catch it. Catch the pendant. Don't let it break. Caught it. Shoestring catch. Way to go. Yeah, that's right. I'm congratulating myself. I'm doing the old Barry Horowitz and patting myself on the back. But yeah, this game has aged. It's It's got the same sort of appeal as Secret of Mana, I think. It's got the colors and the art design, the sound design, the music. The enemies, the beat 'em up styles, mechanics where you just. You got a lot of different weapons you can use. But this game has aged better than Secret of Mana because Secret of Mana has the magic system, the bullshit magic system where you level up by using it. And you can. See, the only way to use the magic system is by pausing the game, which is really. <laughs> it just doesn't work. It just really. It's kind of. It's almost kind of game breaking. I would love to see Secret of Mana get uh, re-released, uh, remade. Oh, bullshit! That was from off the screen. That shouldn't count. Uh, Secret of Mana getting remade on, for the 3DS where you would use the ring system on the lower screen, the touch screen, would be awesome. That would fix the magic thing with that game. That would be tremendous if they could do that. Then that game would be on the same level as this, if not better. But until they do that, then... It's, uh, I'm gonna consider this better. Oh yeah, the boots! Now I can dash everywhere, that's awesome. Let's 
instrument. Oh, and I have one bomb. So, uh... <laughs> I just love doing that. Making the screen shake is awesome. Let's uh, blow this up and get what... I think this is just money back here, but I don't have anything else to do with... And I'm never going to come back here anyway, so... Oh, you, you bomb to get some more bombs. And to get some cash. Cool. Straight cash, homie. Alright, uh, I think I'll stick with this game for at least one more part. So, I want to thank you for watching, if you're still there. Thank you for your patience, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers!